Hey guys, thank you for joining me at Completing Christ. We're going to finish up today with this series, When God Speaks. And uh, just a couple of things I want to share with you today as we close this series out. And I hope I hope it's been good for you. I hope God has used it to speak to your heart and to challenge your heart. I know every time I read this passage, he does that. He does that for me. That man, he speaks to my heart, but he challenges my heart with this passage. And we've been we've been talking about that we can know when God speaks that God initiates the whole thing, that he comes to us, he still speaks to his people just like he did Abram. You know, he came to Abram, he spoke to Abram because he had this plan and his purpose. And, you know, he told him, look, I, I, I want to bless you and I want to bless all the families of the earth through you. And think about that statement. Man, what a powerful statement that is. And I don't think Abram understood the magnitude of that statement. Just like we don't understand how God wants to use us and what God wants to, to teach us and do in and through our life. But I'm thankful that he initiates the whole process and that, that God speaks. And the more time we spend with him, the clearer his voice becomes. And he speaks through his word. And he never speaks in contradiction to his word. He speaks through prayer, through circumstances of life, and through his through his people. And then that God still directs. And he gives direction to our lives. He gave direction to Abram. And he gives direction to us. And he has that right. And he doesn't have to get my permission before he gives me direction for my life. Why? Because he bought me. He purchased me. My life is no longer my own because I've been bought with the blood and the life of Jesus. And he has the right to give me direction for my life. Just a couple of thoughts in closing this, this passage out and this series, When God Speaks Out, is, is this, is that, that God gives, that God gives us the faith to trust him for the direction that he gives. You see, by faith, Abram obeyed. You see, Abram knew this God that had spoke to him in Genesis chapter 12 when it says, now the Lord said to Abram, God spoke to Abram, but, but Abram trusted the God that had spoken to him. And even though the direction was not extremely clear, that he just says, look, I want you, I want in verse one, he says, I want you to leave from your country, I want you to go from your country, from your relative, from your father's house, and go to the land that I, that I will show you. Not a whole lot of direction there, but but Abram, because of his faith relationship with God, because he trusted God, he believed God, he walked with God, that he understood that God would give him the faith to trust the direction that he had given him. You see, he went forth. When God spoke, because he trusted God and because of the God-given faith. You see, faith is not something we muster up. Faith is God-given, but we have to use it. We have to exercise. We have to act upon the faith that God gives us. You know, most of the time, the direction that he gives us is not a long-term picture. Most of the time, the direction that he gives us is maybe one or two steps at a time. And we what we would like, we would like for him to turn on this huge spotlight and show us way down the road uh, the direction that he has given us and how we get there and step by step for, for way down the road. But that's not normally the way God operates. Normally what he does is he'll shine the light for one or two steps at the time. Well, how do I know when I take that step that I can trust him for the next step? All I have to do is look back over my shoulder and see how faithful he's been in the past. And I understand and realize it's as faithful as he's been in my past, he will be just that faithful in my future. So God gives us the faith to trust him and we act upon it. And we take it step by step, knowing that God is faithful, that God gave Abram the faith to trust him for the direction that he has given him for his life, even though it wasn't extremely detailed. He did the same thing for me and the same thing for you, that when God speaks and God gives directions, that, that God gives us the faith to trust him and we need to act upon it. And, and you see, God honors, God honors our surrender. 
God honors our obedience. God honors when we walk by faith, trusting what he has spoken to us. And remember, God always speaks in line with the truth of his word. And I can tell you that <clears throat> almost 50 years of walking with the Lord, that I have been blessed beyond measure by simply trusting him and walking by faith. And the last thing I'll share with you is this, is that God chooses. That God chooses when to give us a direction. God chooses how he gives us a direction. God chooses the direction of our life. And that direction can be given at any time, at any age. You see, God has the right to give direction. He has the, the right to change my direction. And he can do it at any time he chooses to do it, regardless of my age, whether I'm 15 or whether I'm 75, like Abram. Now, I mentioned this early on in this series, that years ago when I read this passage, the, the fact that Abram was 75 years old did not resonate with me. But I can tell you now, it does resonate with me. That here Abram is at the age of 75, and God has given him a completely different direction for his life. And how did Abram respond? He obeyed. You see, God has the right to choose when, how, and, it, and what, and at what time he gives his people direction for their life. You know, I would think that Abram's at an age where he, he probably has kind of settled in. Everything's good. Thinking he'll be there probably for the rest of his life. But God had a different plan. You know, <clears throat> age does not determine when or how God gives us direction. God can give us direction at any time. And God can change the direction of my life at any time. And for me, for me at this stage of my life, sometimes that scares me. You know, that here I'm I'm sitting here on the on the backside or in the fourth quarter of my life, thinking, God, I'm not real sure I want the direction to change. But I understand this that the God who initiated all will be faithful to the end. And if he changes the direction, I just simply need to trust him. So how, how are you? When God speaks, do you recognize the voice of God? When God speaks, do you obey? When God gives direction, are you willing to trust him for it? And regardless of your age, if God chooses to change the direction, are you willing to simply trust him? Listen to me. He's trustworthy. He is worthy of my trusting him. And my prayer for you and me is this, is we build such a relationship with him that when he speaks, that we recognize his voice and we have a heart to obey when God speaks. I hope you have a blessed day. Walk with Jesus, listen for his voice, and be willing to obey, even if it is a change of direction. I pray you have a blessed day. Let Jesus be Jesus in you today. Thank you so much for watching Complete in Christ as we strive to teach you about the Christ life. And we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and may you have a blessed day walking with Jesus.